big rematch coming up in Las Vegas. Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder. How do you see his fight panning out? Um, break it down. You've sparred Tyson Fury in the past. How do you see his fight panning out? I, uh, I'm not sure, to be honest. I think it's a 50-50. Like I said the other day, I think it can go any way. You know, um, people said to me, how can you see Wilder beating Fury on points? It was a draw the first time. One of the judges had him winning the first time, did they not, I think? So that's how I can see it happening. It happened the first time on one of the judges' cards, and it very nearly happened on the other one. So that's how it can happen. It's already happened. People are saying, you're an idiot, Dave. How can you think this? Well, it's already happened, mate, on, on one of the cards and nearly on two. So it can happen through Tyson being perceived as negative over there, you know? Got dropped twice last time. And that's not that's not an outcome that can't happen again. Wilder hit, hits anyone to go over, you know? And next time, he might, hit him, he might not get back up. This fight for me, Dante Wilder's improving all the time. Even at 34, he was a late bloomer. He's a late starter. He's improving all the time. Tyson's moved camp. Has to start again over there. Tyson's the most naturally talented man I've ever seen. Anyway, but Dante Wilder is more than capable of putting him out. It's a 50-50 for me. I, I really couldn't call it. And I'm Tyson's friend. I'm a big fan of him as a bloke and as a fighter. But I think Dante Wilder's improving all the time. And I would have, for the first fight, I picked Tyson even with a timeout. And I think Tyson would be better with the two fights just gone. Tyson boxes to the competition, you know, it'll up his game for uh, for Wilder. But I'm really unsure, I couldn't call it. And one fight that hasn't been announced, but it's very mute, muted at the moment, Joshua and Pulev defending his world titles. How would you see that fight going? Obviously, Joshua unbelievably winning the belts back. Um, yeah, how do you see that fight? And what did you make of that performance in Saudi Arabia? Yeah, I thought Joshua was exceptional over there. I think he boxed really, really, really well. Um, I think Pulev's a good fight, though. I think Pulev's a hard fight. He's very big, he's very awkward, he's got a good jab. Uh, the same tactics that he's against Ruiz, I don't think, would work with Pulev. Pulev would enjoy that, he would welcome that. I think that would suit him. Um, I think we'll go back to see the old Joshua. I think he'll come forward and stick it all over Pulev, like, like Vladimir did. I think that's the way to beat Pulev. I don't think he can stand off him. He's, he's exceptional to do it with Huey Fury. He beat you if you're already comfortably and that takes some doing, you know. So um I think it's a good fight. I'm I'm intrigued by it. I think it's a good fight, I think it's a dangerous fight, I think Pulev's a really good fighter. And also rumoured your old opponent and now to mate, Dillian White. Yep. <laughs> Potentially against Alexander Povetkin. Do you see him beating him? Yeah, I think at this stage of his career, the Dylan White from the Rivas fight beats Povetkin from the Hunter fight. Um good fight though. You know, Povetkin, White, Ortiz. Rivas, um, Ruiz, that whole, the whole, there's about eight or nine of them underneath, underneath the Joshua, Fury, Wilder, you know, the top three, then you got nine or ten underneath, all of them make fantastic fights, so um, any of them, and Michael Hunter, all them, and put them, put any of them in against each other, you got a great fight for me, so, yeah, I think White beats Povetkin at this stage, yeah, but, uh, but a good fight nonetheless. What is your pound for pound top three in the world right now? I think Terence Crawford's probably the best fighter on the planet. So I'll go Crawford, Lomachenko, and uh, Inoy, Inu, Inoy, whatever he's called. Inu Flat and J Mac in there. Um, you know, you've had a long career, as you said, for 27 years old, some really tough fights. What? probably know the answer because you have sort of mentioned it but what motivates you at this stage and what sort of motivation can you give to people out there that are struggling well my motivation obviously is just for the boys you know and my family and just I want to set up a good life for myself when I'm done because I've had, a, I've, had, I've had my problems like and it would make it a lot easier if, if everything's all in a good place you know if I can get if I can get going and give myself a head start alright mate <laughs> Um, so, I um, can't remember the question. Is that the question again? Sorry. Motivation. Motivation, yeah, the motivation is these silly bastards that are fucking asking for a key while I'm getting interviewed. <laughs> uh, yeah, the motivation is these. I have to put myself in the best position to. Silly bastard. Yeah, that, that, that's the motivation, but in terms of um, motivation to others, I've. I've the the cut to Lenroy Thomas, that was my career over. Losing to him the first time my career was over. The tongue injury against Ortiz and 
just taking an island, the career was over. Losing to Tony Oka, the career is over. The David Price career is over. No, it ain't over. I must be a cat because I've got nine lives, just keep coming back. Um, just keep going, just keep going and going and going, and eventually you'll, you'll get there. Um, and I'm back, and I genuinely believe, and I do believe this, and I am modest, I am very modest, and I do like to downplay myself a lot because that's just how I am, and I'm a very, I guess I'm a negative person in a way, but um, I do genuinely believe I'll get back in the position I was in pre price. I do believe I'll get back there, yeah, a million percent. I'm very, very confident. Um, I got there at about 30% of what I'm capable of. So, even the brown fight, the stuff I can do in the gym, you know, all the train, all the best trainers in Britain, they all, all of them say what, what I can do in and stuff, so um, I'll be back, you know. I'm an absolute mental case, you know what I mean? I am. But, um, but uh, a nice one, and I'll get there. You know, I'm, very, I'm honest, honestly, I'm very confident I'll be in a better position this time next year than I was before the prize fight, after the brown fight. I believe I'm in a similar position. Dave, appreciate you giving me a whole load of time today. Um, <clears throat> just one last one. Speaking to Jay, he sees a career in wrestling for you two as a Klitschko tag team. I'll quote him on that. Is that a genuinely a field you could see yourself going into after you retire? If I make enough money, no one will see me again, apart from in the corner with the boys. If I make enough money, you won't see me now. I train the boys and that'd be it. Um, but, um, yeah, I'm, going, I'm doing something with WWE next week. Uh, something for Sky and Matchroom. So... Um, I'm a massive wrestling fan as a kid, you know, a childhood wrestling fan. So I'm looking forward to it. Um, I couldn't see myself in the wrestling world. I don't like flying. I couldn't do the... Their schedule's a bit crazy. You know, I've read a few autobiographies of from the wrestlers and they're travelling all the time, so it would be for me. But, um, but, but... Yeah, he'd yeah, love it, wouldn't he? We could be like the Dudley boys. Kind of. He thinks so. We're not, I don't think we're tall enough and he's not good looking enough. But, um, but no. Jay just needs to get some weight off and keep doing what he's doing and um, Jay can do whatever he wants he's a very funny talented smart kid can do whatever he wants as long as he keeps doing what he's doing which is listening to Papi right now so keep listening Jay Brilliant well Dave appreciate your time as I said and um, we look forward to Jay's fight in a couple of weeks in Scotland I'm sure you'll be in his corner and we obviously look forward to the return of you on February the 8th and Sheffield will catch up with you then appreciate your time Dave